Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good afternoon. I'm so grateful to welcome our students, families, communities, members, friends, faculty, staff, and loved ones to our annual pinning celebrating our Allied Health Division. I'm privileged to open this event, and I stand here where many accomplished students will cross the stage and enter into their new career pathway. Your dedication to your studies, the time, the effort, the energy, are celebrated today. Please take a moment to enjoy this moment. You can clap. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge our college board members. Mr. Jack Rowley from Stafford County, Ms. Frankie Gilmore, Madison County, and Ms. Sarah Berry from Culpeper County. Mr. Ed, I got him mixed up. Did you guys get the sentiment? Mr. Ed Dalrymple, State College Board member. And we also have some Foundation Board members, Todd Gillingham and Ms. Angel Piontek. Thank you for joining us today. On the stage, this is the first time we're gonna say this in public, Dr. Tiffany Ray Patterson, Vice President of Student Services and Equity Advancement. She just got married. Dr. Patty Lisk, Dean of Allied Health Technologies. Ms. April Morgan, Associate Dean of Nursing. Ms. Jan Ms. Danielle Fullwood, our keynote speaker. Mr. John P. Satterwood and Patricia Portea Flores, our student speakers. Thank you so much. <laughs> Graduation marks the end of a student's academic studies and the beginning of a new journey into the workforce. For some of you, you will return to school and continue to study to earn another degree or certificate, and I applaud that decision. For others, you'll enter the workforce, and we need you. The community needs you and thanks you tremendously for selecting an allied health profession as your career. Thank you for making this time in your busy schedules to celebrate with our students. And before I turn over the program to Dr. Lisk, I'd like to bring Dr. Lisk to the stage. So, People in the audience may not know this, but I'm sure all of our students here know this. This marks Dr. Liss's last pinning ceremony with us as she's decided to retire after 37 years at Germana Community College. <laughs> Dr. Liss, we are happy for you. We're sad for ourselves, but we're happy for you. And we're here, you know where we are, so you know, how that happens. But I just want to give you a small um, sample of our love and remember that we love you and the students love you and you've done so much for nursing and allied health professions and enjoy your retirement. Thank you, Dr. I made her promise she would not make me cry before I had to speak in public. That didn't work out so well for me, did it? Thank you for that. Well, it is my distinct honor and privilege 
to welcome you to our spring nursing and health technologies pinning ceremony. I was trying to count how many I have attended. I'm thinking I'm up towards 75 pinning ceremonies, so that's really good. So, you know, this is a great one for me. Um, today, we'll honor individuals, you know yourselves, who will become providers in our com community. We honor graduates from our certificate and our degree programs to include nurse aid, medication aid, clinical medical assistant, pharmacy tech, phlebotomy, emergency medical technician, physical therapist assistant, practical nursing, and registered nursing. We need every one of you. You may be wondering, what exactly is a pinning ceremony? Well, a pinning ceremony signifies the end to a rigorous and demanding healthcare curriculum. It is a way for faculty to honor their graduates' hard work and to welcome them to the profession. Historians trace the roots of pinning ceremonies to the 12th century crusades when new monks were provided in, were brought into a knight's order. These monks were provided, provided care for sick soldiers, and they were honored in a ceremony where they were given a Baltese cross that they wore displayed on their arm. Fast forward to the 1860s when Florence Nightingale, the founder of modern nursing, was honored with the Red Cross of St. George for her selfless efforts to care for injured men during the Crimean War. Now, because Nightingale believed in acknowledging a job well done, she then presented her hardest working nurses with a Medal of Excellence. By 1912, it had become a standard in the United States to award nurses a Medal of Excellence, the pin, during a special ceremony. This pin or medal helped others to identify nurses and also served as proof of their education. Today, our graduating healthcare professionals will receive pins. These will help us and their patients identify them professionally while highlighting the institutions from which they have graduated. Now, families, thank you for all coming to support your graduate. I am sure I echo your pride your excitement and your happiness as we celebrate your graduate at this momentous yet very traditional ceremony. There is indeed cause for excitement because I've heard lots of things about the health technologies programs at Germana over my years of association with the college. The one thing I have never heard was that any of these curricula were easy. And because of that fact, in fact, they're quite challenging. And I know you applaud that because these are your future healthcare providers. So successfully graduating from one of these Germana programs is indeed an accomplishment, a reason for celebration. Congratulations, graduates. This afternoon, we celebrate your accomplishments and we celebrate your future. At this time, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing our Associate Dean of Nursing, Dr. April Morgan, who will introduce our speakers. Ms. Danielle Fullwood is a licensed physical therapist assistant and a graduate of the inaugural PTA class of 2017 here at Germana. She likes Germana so much that she actually has two degrees from Germana, one in the arts and sciences and one in applied science. She also ho holds a bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of Mary Washington. She has worked as the lead PTA at Spotsylvania Regional Medical Center since graduating and serves as a clinical educator for PTA students. <laughs> Ms. 
Thank you so much, Ms. Fullwood. We appreciate your time and your advice for our graduates. It is now my honor to introduce our student speakers. We have two for you tonight. Ms. Patricia Portillo Flores is the oldest child and the first generation in her family to attend college to pursue a career in the healthcare field. She started her educational pursuits here at Germana in the Certified Nursing Assistant Program in the spring of 2022 then completed the Med-Aid program. Now she is graduating from the practical nursing program. Patricia plans to continue her education here at Germana and eventually become a registered nurse. She strives to be someone that's looked up to, a mentor. In addition to being one of our student speakers, Patricia is also the class president for the practical nursing program, class of May 2023. Patricia is a hard worker and passionate about nursing. John Satterfield is a graduate of Orange County High School from the class of 2021. Throughout his high school career, he was unsure of what lay ahead in terms of continuing his education. Nevertheless, he was able to complete his CNA certification during his senior year. COVID-19 presented many logistical challenges that impeded the process of sitting for his state boards. Nevertheless, the persistence and advocacy that his educators exhibited provided tremendous inspiration for him. He offers his eternal gratitude to Ms. Kendra Crane, who, was motiv who motivated and inspired him to become the nurse he is today. In addition, the success that he has been able to achieve in the PN program has been made possible by countless other nurse educators that he has had the pleasure of working with. After graduating from the program, John plans to join the workforce in the acute care setting, continuing his education in hopes of completing an associate degree in nursing continues to be his ultimate goal. First, you will hear from John and then Patricia. Please help me in welcoming your student speakers to the podium. Hello, everyone. Just to introduce myself again, my name is John Satterfield, and today I'm graduating as a licensed practical nurse. When I was offered the opportunity to speak at today's graduation ceremony, I was unsure how I would fare with public speaking. Nevertheless, I'm beyond thrilled to have been offered the opportunity to speak today. Throughout the time that I have spent in the practical nursing program, I have grown not only as an individual, but also as someone who has the confidence to share my insight and ideas with those around me. Maya Angelou once said, without courage, we cannot practice any other virtue with consistency. We can be kind, true, merciful, generous, or honest. I have found that the entirety of my experiences in the last nine months have pushed me to excel as a nursing student in so many ways. None of the feats that I've been able to accomplish would have been possible without the presence of my amazing support system. To my mom and dad, thank you for providing unconditional support and steadfast guidance. You have always encouraged me to believe in myself. You let me know that whatever I set my mind to, I could achieve with hard work and minimal tears, of course. <laughs> Before going any further, I would like to give everyone attending a little bit of background concerning the 2022-2023 PN cohort. The students that make up our cohort range from individuals who are experiencing the healthcare setting for the first time, as well as students who have def decades of experience within the healthcare setting. Nevertheless, I would like to acknowledge the fact that I am beyond proud of everyone in our cohort. For all the early mornings, late night studying, and long talks on the phone, just think of all that you have overcome. The hurdles and challenges that at one time seem insurmountable are now in your rear view mirror. Your resilience and perseverance have brought you to where you are today. Personally, the fact that I am graduating as a nurse continues to feel surreal. 
before I started the practical nursing program, I never truly what I never truly understood what it meant to be a nurse. To some, licensed practical nurse may just be a title. However, I now know that these three words are delegated to individuals that have some of the greatest perseverance I've ever witnessed. I would like to offer my thanks to everyone in our cohort for your caring and support through the last two semesters. Every individual in our cohort has shared an immense amount of wisdom with me, and for, the, for that, I thank each and every one of you. In addition to my expression of gratitude to everyone in my cohort, I would also like to offer my thanks to all the Germana nursing staff and clinical faculty. You have all truly shown me what it means to be appreciated as a student. Every educator at Germana has provided me with the support and it has honestly exceeded all of my expectations. At this moment, I would like to take the opportunity to thank Dr. Lipchik, Ms. Wilson, Ms. Basden, Ms. Day, Dr. McGowan, Ms. McCauley, Ms. Rapids, and Ms. Schmidt. No one graduating from our cohort would be here today without all the time and effort that so many of you have contributed to our success. As a student, I truly feel that my intelligence and insight have been appreciated. I appreciate that my educators took the time to push me to excel in the areas that I felt the weakest in. I knew that I could express myself and exhibit all the newfound knowledge that was taught throughout the program. That being said, I can say that without a doubt, I feel confident that I can transfer all of my knowledge and be a successful practical nurse. I am proud to continue the legacy of excellence that comes along with being a Germana nursing alum. I am more than confident that everyone in our cohort shares my aspirations and passion for excellence. To conclude my portion of today's ceremony, I would like everyone attending and every graduate to take a moment to look back on the journey that you have endured to reach this life milestone. I'm confident that everyone, every individual, knows that no one said that getting to where they are today would be easy. We have all made countless sacrifices. However, the end result, all of your hard work is now in the palm of your hands. After today, we now have the opportunity not only to achieve greatness, but also to change the world around us. I encourage you all to use your skills and knowledge to make a difference in the lives of others. Together, we can work towards a bright and abundant future. Speaking next is going to be Ms. Patricia Portillo Flores. Thank you, John. So hello to all the graduates that are here today. My name is Patricia Portillo Flores. As president of the 2023 Practical Nursing Program, nominated by my fellow peers, and student speaker, which is nominated by my faculty, it's an honor to be speaking with you all today. You know, life truly does work in mysterious ways, even when you least expect it. Coming into this program, I was just your normal, everyday, average student, and expected to walk out of here still being the same person as I was prior. It turns out that I was wrong and life had other plans in store for me. Nursing school is not easy, I can tell you that. Everyone else that's here today that's graduating and fellow nurses that has been through this as well can tell you the same thing. I know we can all remember first day of orientation telling ourselves, what do we just get ourselves into? But here we are at the other side of it, still alive and in one piece. And also, I've always had this dream of being here today and never did I imagine that it'd come true that I'd be ending up here on stage in front of everyone, having new friends, and had a fun time with an amazing cohort. I wanted to thank my little study group that has asked me to join since day one. Together, we survived this crazy journey, still holding strong, and I'm proud to say that I'm ending the year with the most amazing friends, or as we call each other, besties, <laughs> I could ever ask for. And as for my fellow classmates, do you remember the little phrase from the first day of orientation, leave no nurse behind? Well, I'm glad that we all showed that by working together as a team, forming study groups, looking out for one another, and not leave a nurse behind. We stepped out of our comfort zones, took risks, made friends, advocated for ourselves, and made some changes for the better, and cheered each other on when one of us is feeling down. I want to thank the class for the honor of being nominated as your class president. I couldn't have done it without you all. We did that, and we earned this. 
all that hard work, late night studying, endless amounts of homework, lack of social life, multiple breakdowns, crying sessions, showing up to clinical super early when we'd rather be in bed, knowing we have a couple hundred hours of it to go, fear of failing the program, I'm sure every single one of you can relate to that as well, eventually paid off. I also want to thank our instructors for being there for us and for motivating us to keep going. Ms. Rapids, thank you for always reminding us to do something nice for ourselves and take care of ourselves in every single announcement on Canvas. And, and to not go too deep into the woods for each concept in pharmacology. Mrs. Baston, thank you for teaching us how to do concept maps and for bringing us positive energy no matter how much we're struggling. Mrs. McCauley, thank you for teaching us to do our nursing diagnosis and SMART goals over and over again until we became better at it each and every time. I can now say that I can, we can all come up with pretty good nursing diagnosis at this point, thanks to you. <laughs> Dr. Lipchick, thank you for putting up with us and teaching us that it's okay to not know the answer or say the wrong answer and to teach us how to do really good bedside shit reports. Finally, Mrs. Wilson, Thank you for making us feel like we've been heard and for teaching us how to stand up for ourselves and for reminding ourselves that we can do it. Moral of the story is, don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. Take risks, embrace the craziness. It might lead you to an even better path than you can ever expect. And as for everyone that's here today, give yourselves a round of applause because guess what? You've made it. And we'll walk across this stage making your family and friends proud. I know each and every single one of you will make a difference and do great things in this field. Take it one day at a time and remember that tomorrow will be more beautiful. And now for the next section of my speech, I will be speaking it in Spanish, which represents who I am and where I've come from. Quería hablar un poco en español porque es un sueño mío y quería expresar mi cultura y mostrar amor a todos mis hispanos hablantes que están aquí hoy. Gracias. Porque hay personas que todos los días hacen que nuestra vida sea más bonita. Todos los que estamos aquí pasamos por cosas duras, difíciles, momentos que nos duelen. Pero hay personitas que hacen de verdad la vida sea un milagro todos los días. Mami, papi y mamá, mi abuela querida, mi motivación para ser enfermera. Lo soñé, lo luché y hoy lo logré. Gracias a ustedes por todo el amor y apoyo que me han dado para llegar a donde estoy hoy. Felicidades a todos, que mañana será más bonito, diferente, otras vidas y otro ambiente. Gracias. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your comments. John and Patricia, we enjoyed hearing about your journey through nursing school, um, and we appreciate that and can relate with it. Um, again, congratulations to all here. We will now pin our practical nursing student graduates. Will Ms. Samantha Wilson, and Dr. Sandra Lipchick, please come to the podium at this time to pin our practical nursing graduates. John Satterfield. Patricia Portillo Flores. Alicia Arma. Olivia Cole. Elisha Early. Yeah. 
Jessica Gordon. Umu Kanu. Miriam Karoma. Rachel Lankto. Rose and Goy. Natalie Rios. Megan Riley Robertson. Shelby Thompson. Tammy Torres. We will now pin our Associate in Applied Science in Nursing graduates. Graduates, please extinguish your lamps and be seated. A ceremony such as this can only occur with the support of a diligent pinning committee. Would those of you who have helped to make this ceremony such a huge success today, please stand and allow us to thank you with our applause. Also key to this moment are wonderful health professions faculty and staff. Faculty, would you please rise? Staff, would you please rise so that we can honor your investments in the success of these students? Thank you. Last, I would also like to take a, a moment to recognize some faculty and staff. This is a bittersweet moment. We have three of our long-standing health professions workers who will be retiring after this year. When I call your name, would you please stand? Please join me in congratulating Ms. Karen Matura. Ms. Martha Turner. Yeah. 
and of course, Ms. Rosie Henderson. As they retire, they take with them over, to, over 45 years of service to the college. You'll be greatly missed. We wish you um, a happiness as you move to the next phase of your journey. Also remember, there are many part-time opportunities here at the college for skilled educational professionals. We hope to see you soon, should you decide this. We thank you for your numerous contributions to our programs. Families, thank you for coming today to celebrate with us. Thank you for supporting your graduate through this process. We are so proud of our graduates. Graduates, now you know I'm serious. Remember, as we discussed earlier, you are going to choose to, thank you, the marathon is not over. Use the strategies we discussed consistently each day until you sit for your licensing exam. Remember, passing the exam is a choice. Failing the exam is a choice as well. The choice is yours. Families, support your graduate as they continue to study for the very important licensing or certification exam. Remember, any day away from the regime, you are no longer choosing to pass. The marathon is not over. Why would you quit training at the 23rd mile? Take those questions and exercise your brain until the day of the race, the licensing exam. Then, very important, email me the great news. Thanks for investing in yourself your family, and your future. Remember, graduates and families, the celebration will continue tonight as we have commencement this evening, right here at 7 o'clock. I hope to see you then. Again, congratulations, graduates. Let the celebration begin.